Hello. Uh, today we'll see the installation of single phase uh, digital meter uh, premium. Uh, how we'll connect uh, this digital meter with the uh, control panel. Uh, first we'll see the digital meter. It has uh, two display options. One is for ampere, second one is for uh, voltage. Uh, here switch is given uh, that is used for auto operation, manual operation and bypass operation. Uh, three switches are given. Uh, those switches are used to set the dry run current. Oil is used for the used to set the overload current and timer switch is used to set the uh, timer. And uh, three indications are provided. One is a power indication, second one is a motor LG indication and third one is a fault indication. So how will uh, connect? Here the meter is given. So in this meter you can see uh, seven, eight, 7 and 8 number that is phase and neutral. So you need to connect uh, those 7 and 8 number with the uh, phase and neutral. Then uh, 10 and 11 number that is for city terminal. So here uh, city uh, will be provided uh, with the meter. So city coil is connected with uh, 10 and 11 number and then uh, here number 5 and 6 will be used. So 5 and 6 that is N and V terminal. So here you can see uh, 5 and 6 number so 5 and 6 number uh, that will be connected with uh, off push button and a contactor coil so here uh, you can see that 5 number is connected with off push button off push button and uh, here is a off push button and 6 number is connected with the uh, contactor coil so second uh, terminal of the contactor coil will be directly provided uh, with the neutral. So uh, this is the connection of uh, this digital meter. Here in the digital meter you can see this uh, number 1, number 2, 13 and 14 uh, that is used for the water level controller. So uh, if water level controller is used in that case U1, U3, L1 and L3 will be used otherwise it will not be used.